Hi. Is there something that you can't stop thinking about? Maybe it's the birth of your firstborn child, or your seventh birthday, or maybe it's the time you sprained your ankle at the Christmas party. Well, for me, it's that episode of iCarly where Spencer made Carly the gummy bear lamp and it set her room on fire. So for my entertainment and for yours, I'm going to be recreating three things from iCarly's room. First thing that I'm going to DIY is the table that she has in the middle of her room. Let's start the craft. Time to get my supplies at one of the most trusted places on earth. I roamed around the store to find out what I needed. I couldn't find any plastic sharks, but I did find plastic frogs. I did find these tubular little half marbles so that my frogs can have a swamp to sit in. Here's me losing my mother. And here's us saying our farewell. I also got some beautiful little flowers to put as my centerpiece on this table that I'm going to be using for the craft. Here's me just getting started. The frogs remind me of myself. Here are my little angels, Gary, Mary, Jerry, Perry, Barry, and Terry. He's a little shy. Before I reveal it, here is my inspiration, and here is the finished result. I added in some paper lily pads so that the frogs can have somewhere to sit. And I filled in all the space with some flowers and the little beads. And I used some leftover Christmas tree lights to make it pop. The next item I'm going to be making is the flammable gummy bear lamp. Here is this marvelous lamp that I took from my little sister's room. Hey! I cut poster paper so I could glue it on the outside of the lamp. FBI, freeze. No, please, I'm innocent. Suddenly, I started getting flashbacks of the time that I almost burned my room down when I forgot to unplug the glue gun for two days straight. But anyways, back to the craft. Here is my blank canvas. Now it's time for the fun part. Putting a clear seal over the gummy bears so they don't melt away. Here are my participants. And here is my dangerous chemical. And there's me. And I waited and waited until they dried. They eventually dried. Here's the first gummy! I worked for hours on those gummies. I glued them in a specific pattern and in a specific place. And then I was done! Here is how the beautiful gummy bear lamp came out. Hopefully it doesn't burn down my room. Now that that task is complete, it's time to make the ice cream sandwich couch. But first, I have to get my supplies at one of the best craft stores in America. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Joanne's. I thought the fabric was gonna be cheap, but then it ripped my wallet. There's the fabric. It was kind of expensive, but luckily it was on sale. 
Next, we had a little runway walk. Joanne's really does have it all. Look at this jean, yes, patchwork. And for the vanilla ice cream, I got white felt. These two colors kind of remind me of my parents. I used duct tape to surgically attach a toy box and a cardboard box together. And then I attached the white felt and I also added a second layer. And here is me just realizing that my shirt is inside out. Now I'm going to sew this poopy brown color for the cookie. It's sewing time! <laughs> if you didn't know already, I'm really good at sewing. <laughs> Look at that stitch work! It's one of my favorite pastime activities. Here's how it came out. However, something about it was just not sitting right with me. It was a little too white and it was burning my corneas. I pondered and I had a plan. Instead of making the vanilla ice cream sandwich, I was gonna make a Napoleon one. And now for the grand reveal. This is a dog hat, by the way. Several months later. <laughs> hey guys, it's like months later and I never finished the video. Have a grand day.